Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Kevin with Hidden Heights Farm. And we're on our way to save a goat that just got his head stuck in the fence yet again. Oh, I got a surprise for you guys. As uh, soon as I get this goat out of this fence, I will go show you guys. Got some new little creatures here on the farm. First, we got to rescue this stubborn goat that thinks the grass is always greener on the other side. Daisy always gets worried when there's a goat that gets its head stuck. She don't want anything to hurt it and she sure don't want me hurting it. So she just has to come check it out and make sure everything's going good. Okay guys, I wanted to show you something. Do you see these yellow flowers here? They're grown out of this plant and they're about oh, two and a half, three feet high. And what they are, these are turnips that I planted this fall and they have gone to seed. And you see there, there's a little turnip. So I planted this field in turnips as kind of a cover crop and the goats usually eat them and they missed a few as you can see and these turnips they are going to seed so I'm going to let them go to seed and maybe they'll replant themselves. If you guys have never planted turnips for your goats or sheep they love them. They'll eat the greens up and usually when they eat all the green, greens all gone they'll pull the actual bulb, the turnips up and eat them as well. Let me show you something else. So, my last video, my yard was kind of getting out of control. The grass was growing a little too high. And let me show you, I just mowed two days ago. And look at this. This is what happens when you don't spray your yard for dandelions and weeds. So many of you know, we try our best to not use any kind of chemical sprays around the farm because we do have the beehives. So this is what happens when you don't spray and contain your weeds you kind of get a, a, a dandelion problem but that's okay because uh, if you guys watched my last videos you've seen all the wildflowers that grow in our yard and it really benefits all the pollinators the bees the butterflies and all that so you know i don't i don't mow my yard real fast every spring i kind of let the wildflowers do their thing and once they start dying out i'll go ahead and come back and mow and we sure don't spray the yard you know, we live out in the country, so we don't have any weird uh, neighbors or anything that will throw a fit, you know, if our grass gets a little too high or we don't spray our weeds. And that's the way we like it. So. Okay, guys. So yesterday, sorry about this uh, darkness in here. I'm in my shop. I don't have the lights on, but I want to show you something real quick. Show you guys the baby turkeys that we have in this stock tank or brooder and the chickens. Well, yesterday... When I got home from work, I had the window roll down in my truck as I pulled up the driveway. I heard some little chirping. And I didn't think nothing of it. I thought it was just birds. But when I went to go feed yesterday, uh, I seen one little baby chick running across the yard real fast. And it wasn't with its mama. And it couldn't have been more than a day old. So I did some more research. And one of the hens that was sitting in the nest box on one of the clutch of eggs, she hatched like nine baby chicks. So I grabbed, I think I grabbed eight of the baby chicks because she was on the ground with one baby chick and protecting it. But as I went to get the other baby chicks out of the nest box, I tried to set them down by her and she didn't have no part of it. She just took off with the other baby chicks. So let me show you. I, got, I went ahead and put them in the, brood, the brooder with our baby turkeys. Little bitty guys. Most of them are bannies little banny guy there. I know it's hard to see with this red light. Let me grab one of the turkeys and I'll show you what they're looking like now. Okay guys, this turkey is nine days old now and he's starting to get his feathers or her and for those of you that are new this is a black Spanish turkey and I have a video from the day that they started hatching out of our incubator and it's starting to rain so I'm gonna put him up but just a little update nine days old Alright guys, today we got a treat for our dogs. 
I'm gonna go ahead and feed them their food, but we got leftover Easter eggs that are peeled. You like boiled eggs, Daisy? Here you go. Surely you'll eat those, you'll eat your raw ones. And eggs are packed with a lot of protein, so. Here you go. Skeeter, you want one? Alright, girl. Get your food is starting to rain. Let's go get bear some. Come here, bear. Food, buddy. <laughs> what do you want? Another egg? Huh? You want another egg? Here you go, buddy. I think Skeeter just plays with them more than anything, but he eventually eats them when he breaks them. Alright guys, so I'm walking out to the chicken coop because yesterday, like I said, those baby chicks hatched and there was three other hens sitting on clutches of eggs and they should hatch any day now as well. So let's go check and see if any more baby chicks has hatched. Alright guys, way back there in the back. I see a broken eggshell, but I don't see any babies, so I think she's still hatching them, but let's see if I can uh, reach up here and get her to lift up a little bit and see if we can see any babies. I think she's going to peck the crap out of my hand, but let's see. Raise up. Uh, I didn't see no babies under her. Must be hiding pretty good. They get pretty mad when you mess with them when they're sitting on a clutch of eggs. When they're broody, they get really mad. But we should have more babies hatched any day. And as well, we also have two of the turkey hens sitting on their clutches of eggs. The last uh, set of eggs that I put in the incubator, I think only two might be fertile. And I put quite a bit in there, so they are due to hatch this Sunday. So I'll cut, try to keep you guys updated on that. I don't know how that hatch is going to go as well. We might not get any more hatched. But we did get the two baby turkeys hatched this year. This Tom over here. This Tom is just... I think he's way too big to get these turkeys bred real well. The hens. I don't think that he can breed them very well because he's so big. And I only had like 10% of the eggs that I put in the incubator were actually fertile. After candling them, I could tell. So we'll probably get rid of this one eventually and try to get a smaller tom for next year or maybe even later this year if they have any fall eggs. I'd really like to hatch a bunch more Spanish turkeys out, but he didn't do the job very well this year. Alright guys, as you can see, it is raining here and uh, I'm out here. I'm outside trying to give you guys a little update on the uh, farm here, on the farm vlog. But this rain is a blessing from God, of course. You know, this last weekend, we got these raised beds done. And we got some seeds in the ground. And a lot of the smaller stuff has started sprouting. Let me show you guys. Give you a little update. You can see those right there. Those are a bunch of uh, lettuce mix. Then we got a bunch of radishes as well. So this rain will really help. I don't know if my camera is even staying in focus now because I think my cover got a little wet. But And then over here we got some sugar snap peas that just broke the ground. Got several rows of those in this little 4x4 bed. And then of course over here we got beets. Just broke the ground last night. So this rain is a blessing to us. I don't have to water tonight, of course. And 
This rainwater always is way better for your garden than uh, tap water. So, <sighs> rain's never hurt nobody. All right, I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update here on the farm tonight. We finally have a baseball free night. No practice, no game, so we're going to enjoy the night as a family. And here in a little while, I got to head out to go make a surprise visit to a fellow big time YouTuber who just hit 100,000 subscribers on his channel. And we're going to pay a little visit to his farm after a while when he gets home and do a little bartering. So that video will come out either tomorrow or the next day. So you guys won't want to miss this. So that being said, guys, I'm going to go enjoy the evening with my uh, family. Appreciate you guys for watching. Hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, I ask you to please subscribe. And we will see you on the next video.